Straight to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen. Before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hope you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily double uploads. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we are going to be looking at Dwayne Wade. Now, um, obviously, there's a couple things I want to point out. You will not be able to get the shades of Dwayne Wade on NBA 2K22. It's just not going to be there. It's not an option, which is cool. I mean, you get the option for Michael Jordan and um, Kobe Bryant. And, of course, you know, 2K is only limited to how many shades of they can do. So, again, um, Dwayne Wade by far is, I guess you can say, the third greatest shooting guard of all time. Michael Jordan, number one, Kobe Bryant, number two, and of course, Dwayne Wade, number three. And he's also a two-way threat. So we're not gonna be able to get a two-way threat name, nor the shades of, but of course, Unk is still gonna try to give y'all something pretty solid, all right? So what we're gonna do real, real quick is just look at his attributes. Um, again, some really, really great ones. You get a 97 driving layup, an 85 driving dunk, 97 close shot, a 96 mid-range shot. And again, we all know Dwayne Wade was not a three-point shooter. You see he's a 78. Um, he was really, really lethal in the mid-range. Um, from the mid-range to the basket, that's where he lived at. Um, and again, we're not going to be able to emulate any of this, right? Again, making Dwayne Wade is going to be extremely difficult because not only does he have a 90, a 95 plus in finishing, a 95 plus in the mid-range, but he also has a 95 plus in the ball handling pass accuracy, which again is really, really good. 96 speed with ball. And then also on top of that, he will have a 94 perimeter defense. So again, that's where you get the two-way threat from. It's really, really, really tough to make an individual like this. And then of course, when you go look at his speed, a 96 speed and acceleration, 70 strength, and a 90 vert so again really 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 great numbers really really hard to make okay and then when you look at your um your his badges 45 total badges is ridiculous he has three um hall of fame finishing badges acrobat giant slayer and slithery but he also has fast twitch with speed up standing layups dunks around the rim fearless finisher limitless takeoff lob city post riser pro touch teardrop unstrippable and then we have one of shooting he remember he wasn't known for his shooting but he was known for hitting he did shoot the ball in the mid-range decently but of course we know d wade loved to finish at the basket that was his bread and butter but um, again, increases the range from off the dribble um, three-point shots, which I think is crazy to see them. He had this badge, but okay. Um, and then, of course, the playmaking, hyperdrive, triple threat juke. Again, one of the best players ever to come out of triple threat. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, you think of also. Um, one thing I would say, I thought downhill would have been Hall of Fame, but that's all good. There's still a lot of gold badges here, as you can tell. And then, of course, defensively, you're going to see a ton of defensive badges. When you see right here, Chase Down, um, Dwayne Wade is the all-time leading blocks leader outside of anybody other than the power forward or center. So you're talking about point guards, shooting guards, small forwards. Dwayne Wade is the all-time blocks leader. Um, so it's really dope there. So anyway, with no further ado, what we're going to do is head over to the My Player Builder and try to make the one the only, the great Dwayne Wade. All right, my nephews and nieces, so now we're looking at the um, shooting guard position. Of course, Dwayne Wade was right-handed, and he was number three. Um, what we're going to do here is going to make two versions. So the first version we're going to be looking at is Hall of Fame playmaking, Hall of Fame finishing. I think that we want to look at more of the offensive side of how Dwayne Wade really shined. So we want to look at that first. And then here you can go speed invert, or you can go with the um, um, balanced it's really a preference. I'm still going to go with speed invert. I want to have as much as I can. But theoretically, D-Wade is probably more so balanced because of his strength. Now, you'd still, again, that 10 strength drop-off is huge. And again, you know, you could go either or. But again, we're trying to get something that emulates in the park also. So we're going to go with the speed invert. We're going to max out just the top three. That's it for the 17. Then we're going to go ahead and max out the top three again. And then we're going to go 54. And that's going to get us right at 10 shooting badges. 
Then we're gonna go 84 on the pass accuracy and max out that ball handle. That's gonna go ahead and give us 21 playmaking badge upgrades. Then we're gonna max out the perimeter defense, lateral quickness, the steals. We're gonna max out that defensive rebound. You know you gotta max out that block for D-Wade. And then a little bit on the offensive rebound. And I think I'm missing one here. What am I missing here? Oh yeah, at the top. So actually go 89, not, I mean 88, not 89. All right, and then boom, there we go. Now we got 17, 10, 21, and eight. Really, really good bad stack here. Again, a extremely solid build. And then the body type, you still wanna stay compact because we do wanna add that weight to him because he's 6'4", remember he's 220 pounds. But what I did was I went 222 because you can get away with going just a little bit more and still having the speed and acceleration not being hit again. So we went 222 instead of 220. And then we're gonna max the wingspan all the way out. So now we have something very similar to Dwayne Wade. Can we look at the numbers? When you add the plus eight to the physicals, remember he had a 96 speed. This right here, you have a 94 um, speed. He had a nice acceleration. This one have a 93, okay? He had a 90 vert, but now we're gonna turn around and have a 96 vert. And then of course, he had a 70 strength. And this one right here, you have a 60 five strength so again the physicals kind of match up and then when you look at the finishing shooting playmaking defensive rebound you actually get a little bit more um, of that driving dunk more um, than what you usually have because Dwayne Wade actually had an 85 driving dunk in this instance we'll have an 89 he had a 95 driving layup well guess what you have a 99 driving layup he had a 97 close shot well you'll have a 95 close shot okay now the shooting is where we're really going to sacrifice that because he had a 94 mid-range this one right here you have a 76 now Again, can you shoot with a 76? Yes, okay. And then also a 69 three ball. That's also gonna be really solid. That 69 three ball, you will be able to shoot pretty good from three point line with that. But again, this is gonna be more so the finishing playmaking that we wanna really wanna put an emphasis on. And then on your playmaking, you have an 88 pass accuracy with a 92 ball handle. Again, that's right in the line where, where um, D Wade was at with his playmaking. And then on the defense, of course, we're taking a hit again because now you only have, instead of that 94 perimeter, you only have an 82 perimeter. And then that seven, you have a um, 79 ladder quickness. You actually have an 86 still. He only had a 75. So again, you have a, a lot bigger still there. And then you have a 73 defensive rebound and a 58 block, all right? So really solid. Of course, you still want to go with the slashing takeover. So here you have it, my nephews and nieces. You actually come out with a two way slashing playmaker. Dwayne Wade was a two way threat. I think this is pretty close to what you're going to get as a D Wade build. Now, before we go any further, we're going to go ahead and go to the second build. We're not going to go over badges due to time constraints. So let's head over the now and look at this second build. All right, so now let's look at this second build, okay? This second build, again, is going to be more so looking at his defense and finishing, which I think is also something to take in consideration. His defense and finishing is really good. So this will give you the defensive side and the finishing. This time we do want to go balanced, okay? We want to go balanced here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and max out the top three right here, and that's going to give us 19 finishing. Then we're just going to max out the top three here. We're not focusing that much on the shooting. We're just going to go with the three here. Then we're going to go ahead and max out all this and then go 60 on the uh, post control because that's going to give us 15 playmaking. We know how important that is. Then we're going to go and max out the perimeter, the lateral quickness, the steals. We're going to max out that defensive rebound and that remaining on the block, right? So that's 72, 48. There we go, yeah. So now we're looking at 19, 3, 15, and 8, okay? So again, a really good stack. This time we're sacrificing more of the um, the shooting to focus more so on his defense. We know how great he was as a two-way player, so we want to try to get that. Um, here you do want to go compact again. Get your weight to two, um, to 6, 4. Then this time you want to go ahead and um, get your weight right here. Right at 217, okay? Get your weight at 217. And then you want to go ahead this time, instead of maxing your weak spin out, drop it by two. And the reason why we'll drop it by two is because we want to get that 85 ball handle. So you want to drop your wingspan by two, you're still going to have some really good defense, right? So we want to make sure we can still give him all the pro dribble, I mean, the elite dribble packages, okay? So now again, with that plus eight to your physicals, you have a 92 speed, you have a 91 acceleration, you still have a 90, um, six vert but this time you have an 88 strength again that's more strength than what he had because he had a 70 but this is again we're still trying to play something similar to d wade and then on the finishing you still can get a 92 close shot 95 driving layup you get a 93 driving dunk so now you get all the dunk packages the elite dunk packages 
This time you get a 73 mid-range with a 63 three ball, a little less shooting, but then that playmaking, you get an 80 pass accuracy, the 85 ball handle. We spoke about that already. You will be able to momentum dribble. And then defensively, you get a massive leap, 89 perimeter defense. You get an 87 lateral quickness, a ridiculous 94 steal with a 63 defensive rebound, and then a 50 block. So really solid. And again, we still want to go with that slashing takeover. You could go lock if you wanted to, because D-Wade was definitely both. But we're going to still go with that slashing. And then here you have my nephews and nieces. We have a two-way slasher, okay? So let me know in the comment section which build did you think you like more, the two-way slashing playmaker or the two-way slasher version. Or maybe I left the version out that you think that should be taken in consideration. Just let me know in the comment section what that is. I'm open for the discussion. But other than that, my nephews and nieces, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger. You know, when I say I'll be back soon on the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Thank you.